How are you doing? How's your family? How's your family? Can I shake your other hand? My family's fine. Shake it. I want some tamales. Here's my here's my nice wife. Nice to meet Ruby. you. Again, we're meeting for the second time today. All right. I want oh, some tamales for my husband. <laughs> Hi, I'm Conchita from my country kitchen in Levine, Arizona, and here I am again in my kitchen. Um, I was gone for a while and I, I felt like I was gone the whole day, but I was only gone for two hours for my daughter's birthday. But here I am again, back. And um, I'm going to make my mama's uh, veggie green corn chili cheese tamales. Um, what I do is I will do them like the others that I made, the other recipe that I had, except this recipe takes more veggies. But I will add, um, I added two cups of uh, masa harina. And then <clears throat> I will add two tablespoons of salt and three sticks of butter. Butter and a lot of my recipes that I make. Um, and then I will add uh, 12 ounces of cottage cheese. Okay. Cottage cheese. And uh, two cans of cream corn, which whatever kind of cream corn you prefer. And um, 12 ounces and corn. All right. And I gradually put water, warm water in here, but you may not need a whole cup. I have a cup here. Put it in there because sometimes you don't need that much water. So now I'll start mixing. <coughs> back again um, I mixed it all up and now I like to put the cheese in later on and I like to fix it in there it's a half a cup half a cup of uh, the marble cheese that I use so, so I like to mix it in there yes yeah. and this should actually make um, a dozen or a little more maybe. Usually I get a little more than a dozen, but. Mm -hmm. Here I am again, doing my favorite, shopping in Cochita's kitchen. Yes. Okay, for the tamales, we have to cut, I'm cutting up two tomatoes that are roasted, seven Anaheim chilies, and two regular jalapenos and they're half all, an onion. They're all roasted. And these are all roasted except for the onions because this is all going to get sauteed. I have a bowl here of uh, Anaheim, Anaheim frozen chilies. It's hatched. Well, hatched chilies, I'm sorry. These are the Anaheim, those are the hatch. So, as usual, careful with your fingers. Throw the jalapenos in there. Careful, you're going too fast. Yep, don't go too fast. Takes a few years to learn how to chop fast without cutting your fingers off. chilies do the same thing yeah they don't have to be roasted but it gives it a better flavor if you roast them yes brings out actually a little bit of the heat of any kind of chili you roast 
and of course the flavor of it. All right, so we're gonna leave that right there. And right now we're gonna put, throw in the pan, saute it all together. Hi, I'm back again. Um, the ingredients from before, the veggies, um, I'm sauteing them, so you can see. Um, I added a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of salt. And this is what we're going to be tomorrow. Hi, I'm back again. Now, i am got everything done, so I'm going to spread. Well, not, you don't have to spread on these. These, you just put a little bit on the husk like that. And you, of course, you wash your husk. And then you put your, your uh, toppings, veggies, like that. And then you put your cheese, as much cheese as you want. Doesn't matter how much cheese you put in there to your choice. And then you just wrap them up like a Christmas gift, like this. So like that. And then you probably get 12 of these and you can freeze them for like, like I said it before in my other video, uh, a few months, however, you know, five, six months. And they'll stay good, you know. All right, here we are, final. Results of the tamale. Oh yeah, you can tell just by cutting it open. Look at that. The veggies and stuff and the cheese in there. These are perfect. Of course, they were steamed hour and a half. 